Hello students, let us learn about hardware and software. Children, now you have understood that computer is an amazing machine that can do different types of jobs. It has different parts that work together to form a computer system. The two basic parts of a computer system are hardware and software. Who is he? He is Alan Turing. He is well known for his great contribution towards modern computer and considered as father of modern computer. Let us first talk about the hardware. The physical parts of a computer which you can touch and see are called hardware. A human body consists of different parts. The outer parts of a body are visible, but the parts like brain, lungs, heart, etc., which are inside, cannot be seen. Similarly, in a computer, we can see the parts of the hardware that are outside. For example, monitor, keyboard, etc. They are attached to the CPU by cables. Some parts of hardware are inside the CPU. You can see them only when you open the body of a CPU box. For example, hard disk, CPU chips, etc. Hardware of a computer is further classified into three parts. Input, Output and Storage Devices. Let us talk about each of these in details. Input Devices Input devices are special types of hardware devices that are used to input words, numbers, sounds or pictures into a computer. That are called input devices, for example, keyboard, mouse, joystick, microphone, etc. Scanner A scanner copies a picture or text printed on a paper into the computer. Trackball it has a ball on its top. To move the pointer on the screen, roll the ball with your finger. Microphone Microphone input device is used to record our voice and other sounds into the computer. Light pen Light pen looks like a pen that can be used on a special pad. Whatever you write on this pad can be seen on the monitor. Joystick. Joystick is used for playing games. It helps to move the items on the screen. Web camera. It is primarily used to share pictures and have live chat with our friends and relatives using internet. Okay, let us have a quick quiz. Which part of our body acts as an input unit? Now we shall learn about the output devices. The devices which display the information and results are called output devices. For example, monitor, printer, etc. Monitor Monitor looks like a TV screen. Whatever you type on the keyboard can be seen on the monitor. It also displays the processed information. Printer Printer prints the output which you see on the computer screen on paper. Speakers Speakers are used to hear music and sound stored in a computer. Time for the fact file. Lady Ada Lovelace is regarded as the first computer programmer. Alright, let me explain you storage devices. The devices which are used for storing data are called storage devices. Hard disk is the main storage device which stores all the work we do on a computer. Other important devices like CD, pen drive and DVD are also used to store information. CD CD stands for compact disk. It is a round, flat and shiny disk that stores a lot of information. Hard disk Hard disk is a device which stores huge amount of data and information. It is present inside the CPU box. 
Pen drive. Pen drive is very small in size but can store and transfer data from one computer to another. It can be handled easily. Students, let me share an interesting fact. Intel is the world's largest processor company. Let me now talk about software. Software is that part of a computer which cannot be seen and touched. To make the hardware work, we need to have software in it. Let us understand this with the help of given examples. Children, all of you must have seen and used a music system. The parts like speakers, CD and DVD etc. which you can touch and see are the hardware. Can you see the songs recorded on the CD and DVD? No, because that is software. A CD is hardware but the songs or movies which are stored in it are software as they cannot be touched and seen. For example, likewise, a TV is hardware and the programs that you watch on it are software. Let us go back to the working of a computer. Which of the following step is done by software? Input, process or output? Yes, processing is done by software. It takes the input from the user, processes it and displays the output on the monitor. Thus, we can define software is a set of instructions given to the computer to do a particular work. There are two types of software, system software and application software. Alright students, can you quickly tell me who acts as the operating system in your school? First, let us talk about system software. It is a set of programs that controls the overall working of a computer. Operating system is a part of system software that makes a computer run. It also manages all input and output operations. It manages the link between the different parts of a computer and the user. Let us understand the operating system with the help of given example. Take the case of a car. It has petrol, engine and wheels. But it is not moving. When will the car move? It will move only when the driver starts it. So the driver is the operator of the car. Similarly, operating system is the driver of a computer which makes it run. Without an operating system, a computer cannot work on its own. MS-DOS Microsoft Disk Operating System, Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, Unix, Linux, Mac OS are examples of some popular operating systems. Functions of Operating System it controls the overall working of input and output I.O. devices. Provides the login password to prevent the misuse of computers. Keeps the track of information regarding creation, deletion, transfer and copying of files. Helps to run the application software like Paint, MS Word, Scratch etc. Allocates memory to various programs whenever required. Now let's have a discussion on application software. The software that does a specific type of work is called application software. Let's understand this with the help of an example. What do you do with a juicer in your house? You can only extract juice of fruits and vegetables with it. This indicates that you can do a specific type of job with one machine. Graphic software of application software that help in doing specific types of jobs. For example, word processing software. A word processor helps us to create professional looking documents quickly and efficiently. It provides many features to change the appearance of the text in a desired manner. 
examples Microsoft Word, WordPad, OpenOffice.org, Writer, etc. Presentation Software It lets you create slides, charts, animation and video clips in a lively manner. Examples Microsoft PowerPoint, OpenOffice.org, Impress, Adobe Flash, etc. Spreadsheet a spreadsheet program helps you to perform calculations and display the data in the form of a chart to analyze in a better way. Examples Microsoft Excel, Lotus123, OpenOffice.org, Calc, etc. Multimedia Software It is used to create video, animation, sound, graphics and text with a high degree of interaction. Examples, Game, Software, Windows Media Player, Windows Movie Maker, etc. Graphics Software This software is used to create images such as charts, graphs, photographs, logos, cartoons and much more. Examples, Paint, Photoshop, AutoCAD, Dreamweaver, etc. Desktop Publishing Software this application helps you to combine both text and graphic features to design professional documents like newsletters, books, magazines, etc. Examples Coral Draw, Adobe InDesign, Quark Express, etc. Okay, students, let us take a recap of this chapter. The two basic parts of a computer are hardware and software. The parts of a computer which you can touch and see are called hardware. A group of instructions given to the computer is called software. System software is a set of programs that controls the overall working of a computer. The software that is designed to do a specific type of work is called application software.